In the previous lecture, I showed you how you can create a new KiCad project from scratch using the new project option under the file menu. In KiCad, you can also create a new project from a template, which significantly speeds up your uh, process of creating a new PCB for particular kinds of PCBs. So let me show you. Let's go to new project from template, and that will bring up the template selector. KiCad ships with uh, a variety of system templates that you can choose from. So for example, there's a few Arduino templates here. You can see there's documentation and uh, information about what this template contains. There's an Arduino uh, Mini or Micro, sorry. There's an Arduino Micro, Arduino Mini, there's a bigger bone template, um, a Eurocard, um, a couple of Raspberry Pis, etc. You can also create your own templates uh, based on projects that you have created. So you can take an existing KiCad project and then you can convert it into a user template and you can use it as uh, a place to begin future projects in your case. So uh, I've got a lecture in the recipes section where I show you how to convert one of your KiCad projects into a user template so that you can reuse it in the future. Just a short interruption to let you know that this video is part of my comprehensive KiCad course that will teach you every aspect of creating printed circuit boards with KiCad from scratch. Go to the course page to learn more about it if you want. Find the link to the course page in the description below and treat yourself with a discount coupon for my YouTube viewers. Okay, let's continue with the video. So it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to choose one of those as an example. Let's go for the Raspberry Pi expansion board. Maybe this one here, the 40 pin expansion board. It's all pretty much the same. Once you select a template, you can click on OK. And then you continue with the process as if this was a brand new project. So let's give this example a name. So this is um, example new project from template and I'm going to place this in my current uh, KiCad like a pro third edition project directory and I've got create a new folder for the project checkbox selected so I click on save so here is my new project directory right here you can see it's got lots of things in it including caches in the table file and if I have a look at the schematic editor, you'll see that this is pre-populated with the basic elements of this template. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi header. It's even got mounting holes down here in the bottom and some documentation. And the PCB editor is also pre-populated with the edge cuts, uh, the location of the mountain holes already set up and um, measured appropriately to fit with this particular Raspberry Pi model, even the locations of the USB and um, network ports are marked on the layout editor. And having a look at the 3D viewer, you can see that the PCB is pretty much ready to receive your components. So as you can see, this capability alone, the templating capability of KiCad allows you to really speed up your setup work. Uh, you see in the projects, for example, that uh, I've got later on in this course, how much time we spent uh, measuring distances between components to make sure that they fulfill the various constraint requirements uh, and uh, all that is work that you really only need to do once and then you'll be able to reuse via templates. Okay, so that's it with creating new projects in KiCad. Um, there's just a couple of things that I want to mention uh, in the remaining part of this section and in the next lecture I just want to do a comparison between KiCad instances running on macOS, Linux, and Windows. And after that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the differences between KiCad 6 and KiCad 5.